Since we filmed our initial video back in early 2022, Market Vector continues to expand our global ESG family. New indexes include space industry, circular economy, future healthcare, bionic healthcare, and a global hydrogen economy index. We've also launched a number of indexes that aren't officially ESG designated, but utilize an ESG screen as part of their methodology. These include a Global Defense Industry Index, as well as a Uranium and Nuclear Energy Infrastructure Index. Now, a number of these indexes are used to underlie Article 9 products, including Circular Economy and the Future and Bionic Healthcare. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to dive a bit deeper. Joining me today in the studio is Josh Kaplan, Head of Research here at Market Vector. Josh, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Joe. Josh, can you tell us a little bit more about the Global Circular Economy ESG Index and uh, what it's trying to capture? Sure. So the circular economy represents a new economic model that prioritizes the reduction of waste and pollution by keeping products and materials in circulation throughout global supply chains for longer. It also emphasizes the regeneration of natural systems and resources, water being one of them. The Market Vector Global Circular Economy ESG Index captures companies in five key sub-themes. First and foremost, companies that produce products that are made from recycled or repurposed materials. There are also waste management and recycling services companies, metal recycling companies, water purification and treatment companies, and finally, we have waste to energy and biofuel companies. It's very interesting. Uh, This represents a shift from the linear economy to the circular economy. Can you talk a little bit more about that and what makes it compelling? Absolutely. The shift from the linear economy where natural resources are used to manufacture goods, the goods are then disposed of, to the circular economy has been estimated to represent a $4.5 trillion opportunity for economic growth through the end of this decade. The circular economic model is not only being pushed onto industry by regulators, but there's also a major grassroots element to its adoption as well. Now, a recent survey indicated that 50% of respondents would buy zero waste products when available. 45% of respondents would exclusively buy products from brands that are concentrating on sustainable practices or would refuse to buy products that are not recyclable at all. That's a pretty interesting shift. Um, what's, uh, What's next in the space? So in the ESG space, there's been a lot of criticism lately about screening broad-based benchmarks using high-level ESG scores. But actually, ESG investing has enormous value, especially when being applied to sustainable investment themes that are supported by long-term investment theses. Like moving beyond net zero greenhouse gas emissions, for instance. Yes, exactly. And so here, we think there's an opportunity to look toward companies that are uh, actually helping the environment instead of simply not harming it further. Well, that's uh, thank you, Josh. I appreciate that. Um, to learn more about Market Vector's Circular Economy ESG Index, or to explore the full range of our thematic equity benchmarks, please click on the link below.